how important is it to sort of be accepted by others in your own field? Mm. Like, if you don't sort of care to be accepted, then, you know, you're going to put yourself first. But if yeah. you do sort of, I guess you have to care to be accepted because mm. everybody's involved. It's, it's a team effort. It's a family. Mm. But how important is it to sort of be accepted? It depends on the profession as well, though. Like, in, in my business, representing athletes and brokering deals, being accepted or being like, listen, some of the we we've just done a deal in the esports space, ridiculous. I'll tell you boys about it off air when it's announced. It'll be crazy. I'll, yeah. could, I'll say it's with Lamborghini, but that's that's all I'll say for now. And the company that we it's a licensing deal, so we've brokered a sick company in the esports space to use the Lamborghini branding with their branding. Oh, it's, wow. it's gonna be nuts. But the company that we're doing the deal with Lambo with the CEO and I talk. He's got four hundred followers on Instagram. Wow. He's worth M's, just bought a mad whip. Da, da, da. But the reason I say that, he doesn't care about acceptance, right? Or we've moved from the topic of looking cool and being verified, whatever. He doesn't care about that. And that's he's in the position where all of us want to be. Mm-hmm. Boss of his own company, great turnover, family, cars, all the rest of it. So... You have to, it goes back to you have to define and shape your reality, mm. right? For me to feel accepted, I was saying to my mum the other day, for a long time I had imposter syndrome, yeah. really, in the agency world because there are agents who have done so much more than I have in, in the sports world and I'm still on my journey, still in the kind of embryonic stages to be fair. Yeah. But I had imposter syndrome because people kind of assumed that because I'd been on TV and because I had... A, a small following an okay following that was already the finished article yeah right so i didn't feel accepted because i knew that i hadn't i wasn't i hadn't achieved my cv wasn't as long as the other guys yeah. now that we've moved f- fast forwarded a few years and we've brokered deals for england football players rugby players olympians brands like lambo victoria beckham etc I was walk into any room with any other agent and I feel accepted. I don't need them to accept me. Don't need the validation. I feel yeah. accepted yeah. because I've delivered, right? Yeah. I guess it's like Wiley. You know, he's he's always calling out storms. <laughs> I know that's a whole different topic, but I feel as though when he sits down, I'd assume he he's not looking for val- validation from someone like Storm. Storms has already made a song anyway to salute him. Yeah. But my point is, he's been in the game so long and he's delivered, and people have that ratings for him that he, I think, I think, and I'm kind of maybe contradicting myself because he's always out there atting people. But he feels as though I I am not the goat, but I've done, I've delivered, I've I've put it out there. So in terms of acceptance, it has to come from within th- first. Because even if people show you love. Say, Riz, you're the man, T, you're the man. If you don't feel it, mm. it's going to feel fake. Yeah. Mm. Until the second, you know, yeah, Goodman Factory is amazing. You know, you go to a, a a trade show or whatever and Diptyque are over there and this brand. Only when you feel, yeah, we're levels, will yeah. you feel accepted in those circles. Yeah. Even if they say, love what you've done, if you don't feel that you've done enough, then it will never be, never be enough.